You saved me. I don't know how to thank you. Your safety is more than enough. Yes. We simply did what Estalt asked us to do. Though, there is one thing you could do for us. Oh, yes? Join the Blue Foxes. It would be a shame for your talents to go to waste. Do you really think she can cast away her faith? After so many years of devout service? I... I can. Pray, allow me to do so. To accompany you, to fight alongside you, I sense that this is now my purpose in life. The Granville Church misled me. But now, I have a new path. A path that will serve as your new faith, perhaps. You have already taken the first steps, Catherine. Why, thank you. I shall devote myself wholly. Now, it's about time we headed out, isn't it? Aye. Let us be off. Catherine's shocking testimony exposes the hidden scandal of the Granville Church. The resulting furor causes Archbishop Joshua's influence on the Lord's Council to wane as the turmoil amongst its members increases. Meanwhile, warships from the Trovel Chauvian Empire are sighted along the coast of Southfield. And by morning, the Dagland trading port has been captured by a fleet of 30 ships. The fleet made the unprecedented move of advancing via an alliance trading route. Taken by surprise, and with Duke Hende's local forces offering seemingly no resistance. And so, once again, the Kingdom of Alitane surrenders a foothold to the Empire. To compound matters, word starts to spread that King Regal Chatham has fallen critically ill. Well, Rias, what do you make of the situation in Southfield? You mean the Empire's capture of Daglin Trading Port? Yes. I heard that Duke Hende's army acted oddly, waving a white flag rather than resisting. This despite the Empire only having 30 ships, far fewer than they brought to Tagaria. The Duke made great efforts to take control of Southfield. Why wouldn't his forces put up a fight? The succession conflict has been diverting the Council's attention. They weren't prepared. So you don't find the capitulation the least bit odd? Not really. Hmm. <laughs> 